everyone, I am Prabhu Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn C Tip channel. In this session, we will learn to create a basic calculator using C Sharp. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below. So you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So let's get started with the demo. We will be using a Visual Studio to create it. At the end of this tutorial, you can expect our calculator to look like this. We will be programming these buttons to give an arithmetic capabilities to this calculator. Now let's get started with the calculator. Let's move on to our Visual Studio. We will start by creating a new project. While creating a project, we will select Windows app form and then we will get this window. Let's change the Windows label from form 1 to calculator. Now we will start with adding some labels to understand the GUI. So we will start by getting a toolbox. You can get that from going to view and selecting toolbox. Here on search toolbox, write label. We will use these lab labels. Let's change the text to calculator. And Let's give it some color. Highlight. And some font. Like monotype cursive, italic bold. And of size 20. Now we will start by adding some more labels. So toolbox label. This label will show the value one. We will increase its size to 12 and bold. We will make similar labels by simply copy pasting. We will get three of these labels. We will change the second label to value 2. And the third label as output. Now increase the size. Now we will add some text box. This text box will be used to get inputs for value 1. Let's increase its font size from 8 to 12. Let's give it bold. Okay. Now we will copy paste the same text box for value 2. And we will add another text box for output to get the output for this value. Now let's add some buttons to showcase the arithmetic capabilities. So button. We will have it size at 12 to show it better. And we will change the label 
from button 1 to plus. Let's resize this tag button. Let's give it bold as well. Now we will copy paste this button to get different buttons. One for the subtraction, one for multiplication, one for division, and one for percentage. Let's change the labels as well. minus division multiplication and percentage now let's start with some coding we will first code for the button plus we will start with getting some text from the value 1 and value 2 so double val 1 is equals to convert dot two double text box one dot text Here we are taking them as double to get them the flexibility of decimal numbers. We will do that for the same for the value 2 as well. So double val2 is equals to convert textbook to dot text. Now double and we will have sum equals to as val1 plus val2 since these text box only recognize the string values so we will have to convert this sum from double to string so text box 3 dot text is equals to sum dot to string open parenthesis now let's code for the negative one <coughs> we can just simply copy paste the above code because it will be almost similar we will do some tweaks for the difference so diff here we will get minus and here it will change to diff again <coughs> let's do the same for the multiplication division and percentage so the division Control V. Let's give it division. <laughs> 
let's do that for multiplication product here product and at last for percentage it will be percent here we will group them division in bracket and then multiply it with 100 to get the percentage we will change this def to percent now let's compile and see if this code works this will take some time and here is our calculator let's give it some values to check if it works fairly let's take 5 and 10 let's do addition yes it is giving us 15 let's do a subtraction yes 5 minus 10 is minus 5 a division it is 0 0.5 a multiplication it's 50 a percentage it is also 50 so let's take some other example let's change the value to 200 and see yes it is giving giving us five percent now let's get back to our slides and this was all for today's session hope you guys found it informative and helpful if you like this session then like share and subscribe if you have any question then you can drop them in the comment section below Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.